James with Ruti again. I uh, just wanted to make a quick video about my Chicago Electric variable speed bandsaw 10 amp part number 62800. This is the newer one. I had the old orange one that was the different style. Um, I upgraded to this one that was on sale for 99 bucks but this has now been discontinued because they are going with a new manufacturer Bauer I think it's called and it looks the same and they told me that this if this goes bad I could get that one but this one's worked really good um, I got a metal cutting blade for it a Linux blade on it so works better than what it comes with the blade that it comes with will work cutting metal though I've only used this thing to cut metal so far maybe a couple two by fours but uh, I use it for sheet metal regular metal it's a great little portable portable bandsaw I also made this which I made a similar one for my old orange Harbor Freight bandsaw but after 10 years of use, that thing finally gave up its ghost. I missed that one, but uh, this is basically, I had a piece of sheet metal. This is an old bed frame. These are all pieces from an old bed frame. And I cut that out, cut that. It's got a brace across the bottom and then a stabilizer piece that's welded on the side also. And how it works is you take your saw, I'm going to try to do this with one hand. And the saw slides right down just like that. And see it kind of, I made that cut right around the handle so it stabilizes on the handle on both sides. Fits in there really nicely and now you've got a stand up vertical bandsaw that you can feed stuff in right here cut metal you got a pretty dick nice depth throughout I mean it's not a, a, a full-size bandsaw obviously but in a pinch it does work and the nice thing is is it goes in real quick into the holder and then if I gotta take it out and make it portable again I can make it portable so usually what I'll do is if I know I'm cutting a lot of stuff, I'll set it right on the edge of my, my workbench or my table and I'll just put a clamp on it. This nice clamp right there and right there. Or one clamp in the middle. And it'll work. Um, I have the, the foot pedal for it too. Uh, it's our one of those foot pedal power things where you just step on the foot pedal and it goes. Um, you plug the machine into the foot pedal and the foot pedal into the wall or you can uh, but when you do that you got to tape or uh, I just use a zip tie and hold the trigger down so it's a garage we got lots of zip ties so great tool worth the investment of a hundred bucks and I probably got about a couple five bucks into the for the scrap metal into the stand so you got a portable bandsaw with uh, with a table. I am eventually going to make a, a you can make a little plate table right here, a little table. I will do that, but it works for now. I've been using it like that for the last couple months, and I'm happy. If you have any questions, let me know, and keep checking back. I'm going to start doing more of the work that I'm doing in the shop, showing what I'm doing. Uh, getting ready to paint this Jeep. It's a CJ8 Scrambler mail Jeep from Alaska, so it's uh, the right hand drive. So I've done a ton of metal work on this thing, um, full restoration. So should be done here within the next couple weeks, is what I'm hoping. And uh, I got a 66 Rambler American two door. It's got the straight six with the three speed on the column. Um, me and my buddy just got done building the turbo system for it. We're going to put a turbo on it. 
Um, he's really into the turbos, and I've got a 283 and an automatic that I was going to put in this car. So I figured if I blow the little six with the turbo, I've got a backup plan. I'm planning on turning this car like into a sleeper. Uh, we're going to paint it white, do some more stuff to it, little little things. I've got it lowered a little bit, and uh, I want to make it into a sleeper car. And then it'll be up for sale. Um, I do like the car, but I bought it to flip it and invest in it, and uh, that's my plan. So I'll drive it around for a little bit, and then it'll be up for sale. Nice little cruiser. Um, then the Kaiser will come in here, and we'll work on that. Also got the 66, or 69, sorry, um, Volkswagen Carmagia that we're going to be doing some work on. That's my wife's car also, so check back. I'm going to start doing more videos of filming of the work I'm doing here in the shop. And look, look back, check back soon. I'm going to be doing a shop tour. Um, I've had a lot of requests for shop tours. Um, I've definitely change some stuff around in the shop. I don't think I've done a shop tour in a long time and I've been moving stuff and getting I got a new toolboxes, couple boxes now, so thanks for watching guys. I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.